Mr Wong also says that there are no plans to further tighten COVID-19 restrictions since current measures seem to be working for now. Live to Heidi Ng for more on this. Heidi, so what else was said about the COVID-19 situation in Singapore? Mr Wong said that the government is still monitoring the situation closely, but there are no plans for further tightening, as he says the preliminary assessment is that current measures are working. It's important to remember that the finance minister is also part of the country's COVID task force. He says we have not seen instances of cases doubling or growing exponentially. In fact, he says that the number of cases in recent days have stabilised or even declined slightly. He thanks Singaporeans for playing their part by sticking to the measures. But if you recall, he's not the first minister to say all this. Health Minister Ong Yi Kang had also previously said that the tightened measures have avoided a spike in new COVID-19 cases. Mr Wong says more details on the local COVID-19 situation will be given on Monday during a multi-ministry task force press conference. Let's hear from him. The preliminary assessment is that we, measures are working. We are not making any further tightening moves at this stage. But we cannot be complacent at the same time. Right? We still have to be vigilant, do everything we can to, uh, for all, everyone in Singapore to do our part, uh, scale back activities, minimize movement, be alert and vigilant whenever we go out, take all the necessary precautions. And I think if we all do that, we can continue to make progress in controlling the infection. Heidi, the current COVID numbers look encouraging, but there's always the possibility that cases could still surge here. The minister says that this latest round of support is a so-called one-off exercise and not part of recurrent spending. But he did leave room for many what-ifs. In fact, he didn't rule out more support should measures be extended beyond the 13th of June or if the COVID-19 situation escalates from time to time. If you recall, the government rolled out five budgets last year, totaling nearly 100 billion Sing dollars to support Singaporeans, tapping into about 43 billion Sing dollars of reserves. Businesses had to also shut for about two months during the circuit breaker. But Mr Wong says that Singaporeans should get used to COVID-19 becoming part of the new normal. And that could include some restrictions every now and then. We are indeed planning for a plausible scenario down the road where um, we, we, scientists around the world perhaps come to the conclusion that it's not going to be possible to eradicate this virus, it's never going to go away, and we then have to learn to live with it. And that means that you know, COVID-19 becomes endemic, it's part of us, but we are able to deal with it with sensible precautions, and that includes getting vaccinated, and that means also that beyond just this year's vaccination, you know, we might need to keep on you know, getting booster jabs from time to time. Mr Wong says he will table a supplementary supp supply bill in Parliament two months from now for the change in fund allocation to take effect. Given the current restrictions and impact of livelihoods, he thought it was more crucial for the measures to be announced first to tide businesses through before the changes will be made later. Back to you. Heidi, thank you. Heidi Ng there with that update.